In Australia, there are two major types of airspace, controlled and non-controlled. Controlled airspace is actively managed by air traffic control, who direct aircraft and provide separation and guidance to pilots. Clearance is required for most aircraft. In non-controlled airspace, aircraft are not separated by ATC. No clearance is required. Pilots are responsible for making appropriate radio calls, practicing alerted see and avoid, maintaining separation. Different requirements apply for flights operating under visual flight rules and instrument flight rules. Class A is mainly used by commercial jets. IFR flights are permitted and require clearance. VFR flights are not permitted unless approved. Continuous two-way radio communication is required. Class C surrounds major airports. IFR and VFR flights are permitted and require clearance. Continuous two-way radio communication is required. Class D surrounds general aviation and regional airports with a control tower. IFR and VFR flights are permitted and require clearance. Continuous two-way radio communication is required. Class E is mid-level en route controlled airspace. IFR flights require clearance. VFR flights do not require clearance but do require a radio and transponder. Continuous two-way radio communication is required. Class G is non-controlled airspace. IFR and VFR aircraft are permitted and neither require clearance. Continuous two-way radio communication is required for IFR. For VFR flights, two-way radio communication is required for operations above 5,000 feet AMSL, at aerodromes where radio is required, and in reduced VMC. For more guidance, refer to CASA's Visual Flight Rules Guide. Your safety is in your hands. Visit the Pilot Safety Hub on the CASA website.